Okay. Um, I just made kind of a couple of different um, cold frames. This one's a this flat sheet of glass frame. I wouldn't look to at my watch my videos to learn how to build one. There's plenty of other videos on the internet for that. I'm just trying to do a little experiment here what to see what design works best. Um, just a fish tank. I tip that over because it might get too hot in there. I got um, a stick so let some air exchange maybe get some moisture in that way. Um, kind of one slant is at about 45 degrees and I know I shouldn't have used the press board but that's what I had here. Um, the frame will be pretty good. If it works good, I'll put some different wood on the outside. And then this one, I just dug a hole in the ground and planted right in it. There. Um, oops. There's plenty of videos on YouTube is how to build them different ways some use plastic some use glass and it's um the end of March now in western South Dakota and just hoping to and our last frost date here is not until um May 1st so I'm hoping by then I have some vegetables up and be able to eat. I have some, um, and my plan is whatever design works best, I'll do more of that for next fall and over the winter. Um, the, I have um, lettuce, spinach, um, beets and carrots planted in uh, all four just to try to do a little experiment um, this isn't far from a lot of people do this a lot of videos on the internet but also um, I came across a book that my mom's aunt had that called gardening under glass and it says that in the Swiss Alps that they um, have like these glass bells and they blow they have been growing cabbage and other crops under them and they do all they do that all winter so that's it so i'm just going to try to see what i can get whatever works best i'll go with that in the future thanks